This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Chromebook, third generation touchscreen Chromebook, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on this model. So once again, this is the third generation of the Dell Chromebook. The procedure for the first and second generation are different, and this is the touchscreen version of the third generation. The procedure for the non-touch version is also different. Please check my YouTube channel for the right procedure for the non-touch version. The model for this Chromebook is the 3189, and I'll show you where to find it. Okay, so first thing, uh, it's a little bit longer procedure than most, so let's go over the tools that we're gonna use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. Parametal tweezers to manipulate cables. A smaller PH0 screwdriver and a prying tool, it's called a metal spudger. So uh, first thing, since this is a touchscreen Chromebook, uh, and touchscreens are very sensitive to electrostatic discharge, we're going to disconnect the battery before we start working on the laptop. So to do this, flip the laptop over, and when we flip the laptop over, we see right away where the model is Dell Chromebook 113189. This is the one we're working on, and also in smaller print, right here, Dell Chromebook 113189. Okay, so there are five, there are seven captive screws on the bottom of the Chromebook, and we have to remove all, or we have to unscrew all seven of them. They stay in their screw holes, and for the captive screws in the middle, there are some caps, the plastic caps that go on top of them. So to save some time, I already, um, loosen up the screws, unscrew the screws. So next, what you want to do is just uh, use the use the spudger just to pop the bottom cover up. It's, um, it's pretty, it goes off pretty simply. So it comes up, and all we want to do here is disconnect the battery. There's a cable that says battery, and we just pull it out like this. So when you're done with the procedures, just remember to put it in. Okay, next, to gain access to the screen assembly, it's a little bit differently, different. Usually you go in through the front and pop the screen bezel off, but in this case, we uh, go on, on the back and pop, pop off the back lid. And to do that, what we wanna do is use our spudger tool to get into the gap between the rubber casing and the plastic lid and just go around the screen assembly. This part is a little bit time consuming, so take your time on this and go around. I've already opened this up before, so for me it's gonna be, take a little bit less time. So for the first time it takes about five or 10 minutes to open up the back lid. And we just keep going around. And almost there. Try not to go in too far with the spudger so as not to damage anything inside. Okay, so once we do that, once we open up the back lid, we have access to the screen assembly. So the main procedure is, is to remove the screen assembly, that is the LCD screen, the digitizer, the touch digitizer in the front, and the bezel, the frame around the screen, all together is one piece from the rest of the laptop screen assembly. So the quick steps to do that are remove two screws on top, and three screws down here on each side, which we'll, I'll show you a little bit. Then unthread all the cables going around. So there's four strings of cables you have to unthread. One going this way, one going this way, and then one going this way, and one going this way. And then 
for after we do that, we can remove the screen assembly. So, uh, first thing, what we want to do is actually unthread all the cables and then we'll remove all the screws. What I rec recommend doing at this point is take a photo with your phone of how all the cables are threaded so you can reference this later on when you're putting the laptop back together. So the first thing you want to do is remove these two adhesive tapes from the side and just put it beside you in a place that's accessible that you won't forget and make sure that it doesn't get crumpled together. So one and two. So once we remove these these will give us this will give us a little bit better visibility of the screws and the cables that we have to unthread. Okay, so first thing that you notice is is you have to be careful when you're rethreading this cable that it doesn't get stuck on this plastic ridge when you snap the lid on so as not to damage the cable. I think when I put the laptop back together this cable was sitting on top of this plastic ridge and that's not good. Alright, so what we want to do is start unthreading these cables and I believe the best place to start is we're going to start with this cable over here. And what we do is remove the adhesive for the webcam and start unthreading here. Then we have some adhesive tape that's on top of the magnet. We lift up the adhesive tape and what we see here is that the Wi-Fi antenna gets in the way so we lift up that Wi-Fi antenna and move that out of the way and then the next thing we see is this circuit board gets in the way so we lift that up and get that out of the way and then it gets a little bit easier from here just unthread it and lift up the adhesive tape and just unthread this cable like so until you get to the bottom same thing for the left side cable So all these cables are still going to stay with the laptop when you remove the screen assembly. So keep going and there's two cables that we have to unthread together. Those are the Wi-Fi cables. And put this down. Okay, the next step is the two cables at the bottom. That includes the video connector to the LCD screen and also the connector to the digitizer right here. So this one, connector to the digitizer is a little bit tricky, but first let's take care of the video connector. There's a metal bar that you have to lift up and then pull the video cable connector down like so. And then you can lift up the cable going to the digitizer right here. Okay, this is tricky again down here. The connector to the digitizer has a plastic bar on the end, so you have to lift this up like so with a hobby knife and then pull this cable out like this. And then when you reconnect it, just push it in and close the bar and make sure it's fully engaged. So this side is now disconnected. Next, you have to disconnect the bottom right side. So there's a little circuit board here that's held down by adhesive. And what we want to do is lift up this circuit board and we use our hobby knife to lift up the adhesive and just remove it like so. Alright, all the cables are disconnected from the back of the screen assembly. Next thing we want to do is remove the eight screws, these two at the top and three on each side at the bottom. So we use our PH1 or PH0 screwdriver. One and two. And then make sure you get a good grip on these bottom screws because they tend to strip a little bit easier. 
and 2. And when doing this, maybe tilt the screen back like this and stand it on the side. That way it won't fall forward on you. So we have 3 and remove this one at the top that we forgot. That's 4. That's 5. And finally, 6. Okay, so the screen assembly can now be separated and we can leave the laptop right here. All right, this is the part that you will be replacing. This is the complete screen assembly for the Dell 3189. As I said before, that includes the touch screen, the digitizer and the, in the front, and the plastic bezel. Now, uh, depending on the part availability, these magnets may or may not be included with the replacement screen assembly. So double check, and if not, just transfer the magnets from the old screen assembly to the new screen assembly. All right, um, we will, screen surgeons, will have this part in stock in late 2017. And also, when you order this part with us, you get this exact same toolkit that I used in the video for free with the screen assembly. And most of the customers for this type of uh, model are schools. So we do work with schools. Often we take purchase orders and we have volume discounts and additional support. So uh, to order this screen from us, two ways. Uh, one is just go to our website and then there will be a short form for you on the front page to fill out. Just enter this model number and we'll guide you to find the right screen online. Or if you work with a school, there's a tab on the top of our page that says schools and then once again there will be a form for you to fill out and then we can work with you to place an order. All right, uh, once you do receive the screen, make sure, screen assembly, make sure it looks exactly like the replacement one. Uh, the part number on the screen may be a little bit different but everything else should be the same. And just uh, take your time and just follow the reverse procedure. Uh, connect the screws connect the screen assembly with the screws I showed you and then connect each side of the cable bundles to each side. So there will be four cable bundles. You have to connect one going here, one going here, then one here, and then one here. Okay, and after that just put the, all the adhesive tape back on, snap the back lid on, and that should do it. Okay, uh, hopefully that's enough explanation and uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrudkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.